Pop and Galley Academy. I'm your host, President Nolan Ellis Collins. And I'm your co-host, Grace Nurse, with the GHS News. And now we're ready to sham rock and roll to the current events with Mackenzie. Good morning. I'm Mackenzie Williams Ray, and these are your current events. March 10th will be the National Honor Society's formal induction for students at 6 p.m. No school for students on March 11th because of Professional Development Day. Juniors, the ACT will be given out on March 15th. Seniors do not come to school because it's also our senior skip day. So enjoy your day off and don't worry, it's not counted against you. March 18th is the end of the third nine weeks. Make sure you get those grades up. Seniors, United Producers Scholarship is available. Information and the application to apply is online at Producers Incorporated. It's offering up to ten to fifteen hundred dollars in scholarships. You can apply online at www.uproducers.com slash scholarships. Due date is April 1st. Have a wonderful extended weekend. I risk to see who is our cool to be kind, so we're going to Evan Pope to fill us in. Shupa dupa lupa koopa. I'm Evan Popa, bringing you the cool to be kind. Our first winner is Jared J. Rod Smith. He is always walking around, dabbing people up, and telling them to have a good day. His friendly presence is felt throughout the school. Everybody would love to see and talk to J. Rod. Many would say it is the best part of their day. Keep killing the game, J. Rod. We appreciate your kindness. Our second cool to be kind is our very own Evan Pope. Evan Pope is a very dapper young lad who always helps people in need. He is very humble and he hates being in the spotlight. People often aspire to be just like Evan Pope, such as Casey Joseph Angel, who feels the effects of Evan Pope's kindness more than anyone else in the school. Thank you, Galley Academy, for allowing Evan Pope to be so kind. It ain't over till it's clover, so we're going to Kenny to fill us up with what we will be munch, munch, munching on next week. What's up, Galley Academy? This is Kenyon Franklin. This is next week's lunch. Monday, we'll be having cheeseburgers, potato tots, steamed broccoli, and fruit. Tuesday, we're having corn dogs, baked beans, peas, and fruit. Wednesday, we're having chicken tenders, sweet potato fries, green beans, and fruit. Thursday, we're having chicken sandwiches, steamed carrots, mixed veggies, and fruit. Friday, we're having pizza, corn, corn sidekick, and fruit. I hope we're lucky to see some days that are sunny. How about you let us know about the forecast for the next week, Grace? Hello, Guy Academy. I'm Keegan Daniels here, filling in for Grace Nurse this week for the weather. Now let's go ahead and start with today. Now today is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 37. Now tomorrow it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 27. Now we're springing into Saturday but it's not going to be very spring like with snow showers with a high of 31 and a low of 19. Go ahead and get those winter coats out. Now Sunday it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 45 and a low of 40, 34. Now into Monday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 39. And then going into Tuesday, there's going to be some AM showers with a high of 55 and a low of 33. And then I'll finally into Wednesday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 60 and a low of 43. That's all for your weather, guys. Enjoy this week. Have a great day. Back to you, Nick. And now for our lucky charms, Keegs and Jersey Dre with the sports. Top of the morning to you. Happy St. Paddy's Day. I'm Keegan Daniels. And I'm Drayton Qualls. And this is your week's sports. The Gay Academy bowling team had their OVC championship this past Saturday. Go ahead and ask Mr. Stanley how that went. The men's basketball team finished up their season with a loss in the district semifinals on the 26th of February against Sheridan. It's a good season, lads. Now to your local sports. The Ryogren women's basketball team is going to the national tournament. They won against Midway to claim the River State's title in an amazing game. I'm Keegan Daniels. And I'm Drayton Qualls. And that was your week sports. Thanks, Gay Academy. We out. And now for a highly intelligent discourse between our very own President Nolan Ellis Collins and Miss Jenkins. Hi, Gal Academy. I'm President Nolan Ellis Collins, and I'm here with Miss Jenkins. Hi. Hey. Where did you go to college? I went to college at the University of Rio Grande. Local, local, local. college. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Beaver, Ohio. Where? where I, don't know. I know. I figured you wouldn't know where it was. Um, it's like in between uh, Waverly. Oh, and Jackson. It's a little village. What are some of your favorite hobbies? I like um, riding my horses. It's been super nice because the weather's nice, so I've been able to spend more time doing that. She's uh, a horse girl. Horse girl. What was your first job? It was at McDonald's. Like my first job ever? McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. Were you good at making shamrock shakes? Oh, yeah, for sure. How's your first year at Galley Academy going? It's going. <laughs> Broken cabinets and all. 
<laughs> what do you believe is the most what do you believe is most important for happiness in life? <laughs> um it's not a thing. <laughs> Travel anywhere in the world. Where would you and why? <laughs> um, where would I travel? Probably like Colorado. <laughs> it's exotic. <laughs> what do you think is the purpose of life? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> oh Last one. What are your opinions on Russia? <laughs> there is right or wrong. <laughs> there is right or wrong. Terrible, terrible people. That's what's up. USA, baby. USA. That's all. And now it's time for the winner or loser depending on whether or not you enjoy kissing pigs, of the pig kissing contest with Coach Carter, who's going to kiss a pig. As part of Celebrate FFA this week, the Galapagos FFA <coughs> chapter has held a Kiss the Pig money drive, where they have raised money for the Children's Hospital. Um, amongst the six teachers altogether, we raised a total of $322, and the teacher in the lead was Coach Carter. So now, Coach Carter will kiss the pig. <laughs> All right. It's for a good cause, so we'll do this thing. Right, I won't be like Coach. Oh! <laughs> okay, I don't know if he likes me or not. This is a girl pig? It is a girl pig. Okay. Right. Yeah! <laughs> That's all, folks. Remember, in the Russian language, there isn't a word for freedom. Merka, baby! As always, I'm your host, President Nolan Ellis Collins. And I'm your co-host, Grace Nurse. And that's all for the JHS News.